Okay, we're looking at how to upgrade the memory on a DesignJet 510. So the first thing to ascertain is how much installed memory we've got in the machine. Uh, this can be done via the front panel. So we go along, scroll down to the bottom icon, which is the printer setup menu, and press enter. Scroll to printer information, and press enter. And then we've got the option to view or print. What I'm going to do here is actually print this out. Um, so I can then scan it in and show you that scan at the end of this video. Um, this design jet as standard comes with 160 mega of RAM. Now you can add a further 256 mega RAM, maxing it out at 416 meg. So we'll just uh, print this config sheet and see what we've actually got installed in this machine just by hitting enter on print. So we've now produced our service print on the DesignJet 510 and amongst other things what it shows us is how much installed RAM there is in the machine. Up in this type, top right hand corner here shows that we've got total RAM 160 meg. So this is a standard build machine, hasn't been upgraded. Uh, which tells us we can add up to another 256 meg of RAM, maxing it out at 416. So what we're going to do now is do that memory upgrade. So once you've ascertained that you can upgrade the memory on the DesignJet 510, go round to the back of the machine, remove this cover, which pops out in your hand, and we see the two EIO slots. On this particular machine, both slots are populated, one with the JetDirect card, one with the HP GL2 card. So what we need to do is remove that GL2 card, loosen these thumb screws, you may need a screwdriver, depending on how enthusiastically they were installed in the first place. Once they're loose, pull it out. Sure enough, we can see that there's a free slot there to install memory. And then what we do, take our, take our memory sim. A little bit awkward on this machine. HP haven't given us a lot of room. But it goes in at an angle gets pushed home and then you hear it click down and we can see that the contacts are all nice and even there and it's clicked home nicely so that memory dim is now installed correctly and then all we do pop that back in do the thumb screws up and then we'll print another config page just to make sure the machines accepted that memory so having performed the memory upgrade, we've now reconnected the design jet to power and powered it up. Now we just go to the front panel again, down to the bottom icon, printer setup menu, press enter. Back down to printer information and press enter. And this time, you know, we've shown you how to print a config page, this time we're just going to view it on screen. So highlight view, press enter. And you can see it gives you the model number, serial number, goes through service ID, engine FW, engine f firmware, format to FW, format to firmware. And then it comes up with the total RAM that's installed. And this machine is now showing 416 megabyte of RAM, uh, which indicates that the 256 additional memory that we just added uh, is being accepted and being recognized OK. So that's fine. Memory upgrade's complete and we're ready to go.